Hello everyone, today I will demonstrate how to do vertical scaling for Postgres cluster using QTB inside Kubernetes. Let's first take a look at our Postgres YML that we're going to deploy. So here you can see that this one is our demo page YML where we have the API version QTB.conf and alpha 2, then the kind here is Postgres, then the in metadata, the name here is demo PG, namespace demo in, in our spec section, the version uh, 32.2 is actually our Postgres version, then the replica here is 3, uh, which means that we are going to create a 3 node replica uh, Postgres cluster. Then uh, standby mode here is hot. Then the storage available. Then you have in our, uh, we have some storage uh, spec here, and the dimension policy here is Y4. That means when we are going to uh, delete the Postgres instance, it will delete all the storage that has been created with it. And uh, we, we are going to uh, do uh, off, uh, particle, off, uh, particle scaling here. So we have uh, created a Postgres off request, uh, with which we are going to upgrade our uh, Postgres cluster. Here you can see that the API version here is beyond alpha uh, one uh, of ski.kidu.com beyond alpha one. And the kind here is Postgres of request. And here is the metadata PG of particle scaling. Then in specific, here is demo. Then in, in our respect section, the type here is particle scaling. As we are going to update the resources uh, uh, for our Postgres container. So that's why the type here is particle scaling. Then the database reference here is demo PG. Uh, and we have also uh, a section called vertical scaling where we have uh, uh, where, where we have uh, put the postgres uh, resources uh, request and limits so uh, now let's just deploy the demo page uiml here so you can see that the demo page uiml has been created successfully And you can see that the post uh, QC delegate post space namespace demo. Here you can see that the status here is provisioning, and you can see that demo PG ports are now all three ports are up now up and running. Uh, uh, but the status here is still provisioning, that means that uh, the operator is doing uh, some uh, cl cluster configuration for our uh, uh, Postgres uh, nodes. So let's just wait for this just to be ready. You can see that the status here is now ready. So now our cluster, uh, Postgres cluster is now ready to accept uh, any kind, any sorts of connections. So now we need to find out which, uh, which port is actually the current primary from this three uh, port. So let's first uh, get the ports IP here. Now, let's get the endpoint for the services that has been created for this demo PG Postgres cluster. So you can see that there are three services called demo PG, demo PG ports, demo PG standby. So demo PG actually pointing to the kind primary uh, and demo PG ports uh, pointing towards uh, all, the no all the three nodes like demo PG 0, demo PG 1, demo PG 2. And demo PG standby is actually pointing towards the uh, uh, kind replica nodes that are syncing with the kind primary. So you can see that uh, here uh, in the in, in our input section, the IP uh, is 10.244.0.56, uh, which is actually matching with our demo PG uh, zeros IP address. So we can say that this one is actually our current primary. If we check the log, then we will be uh, it will be uh, like more clarify so let's just uh, get the log then when you have uh, we have get the log here then you can see that the database system is ready to accept connection that's mean this one this port is ready to accept all sorts of connections so the, we can say that this one is actually our current primary if we take into a, another port then uh, you can see that it's uh, in uh, standby mode and uh, that is system to read only connection. That means it, we can't write uh, any uh, operation here uh, for this replica no node, and it is actually streaming uh, was from the kind primary also. So <laughs> now uh, let's just exact uh, into our uh, kind primary. 
and create a uh, client connection here with our postgres server then uh, write some data here like create database test if we list here our dbs then you can see that we have created successfully the test uh, database here uh, let's ex exit from here and uh, now if we take a look at our resources uh, for the postgres container then uh, we can see the resource that we have currently for postgres container so the postgres container is actually our uh, number uh, zero, uh, zero, uh, zero numbers container so we need to get the uh, container from the container list zero, zero index containers resources so the, from jq we have uh, get this resource then you can see that uh, in our resources section we have a limit of uh, memory 1 gb and the request here is 500 milli and the memory here is uh, like 1 gb so we are going to upgrade these resources uh, with our vertical scaling of request uh, uh, this uh, this request limits so let's just deploy our now vertical scaling of request So we have created our vertical uh, scaling of request here. Let's just uh, monitor this of request. So you can see that the uh, status here is progressing, and you can say that see that the, it's, it, has, it has been started to upgrading the uh, primary replica once first, then it's going to upgrade the primary port. So initially it has been terminated the demo PC one, then it's going to smart determine your demo PC two when it and the demo PC one is up and running. Then after demo PC two completing demo PC two, it's going to upgrade the current primary which one is actually demo PC zero. So let's just wait for the uh, uh, Postgres obstacles type to uh, particular things I still has to be success successful. You can see that now it has it has been uh, uh, trying to update up, up, update the demo PG two pod. <clears throat> now demo, uh, this uh, our operator is going to kill this uh, demo budget two uh, pod and uh, update the resources for this pod and it's going to uh, join the cluster soon so you can see that uh, the status here is critical which means that the, uh, the uh, postgres cluster is still accepting connections but uh, for some reason there are the, some uh, one or some uh, one or more nodes are not uh, replica nodes are not actually in running state that's why the status is critical then you can see that the status is not ready that's mean that uh, the uh, for this for some uh, for some millisecond the uh, server is not actually accepting connections uh, as we have uh, terminated demo page zero, then you can see that the failure have been happened. And from these two ports, uh, one of the ports has been uh, upgraded to new master. So you can see that the particle screen has been accessible as uh, upgrade uh, has been uh, performed successfully. So let's just uh, get the port resource here so that we can ensure that, okay, uh, our resource has been upgraded successfully. So you can see that uh, the CPU and memory, uh, all resources has been up updated as you, as you have expected from our particle scaling. So uh, that's all from my side.